Hello, my name is Rachel and I love clothes. And today I have a combined haul. I, I have a very small haul from Temu and then I have a pretty small haul from Goodwill. And uh, we start, we're gonna start with the Temu order. Temu keeps getting me because they'll do this thing where like daily, they'll do this, like you get one item from this category at a really high percentage off, but you can only choose one item. And once you choose that item, you can't go back and change it. So you gotta, choose your one item and they keep getting me with this because they keep giving me these like ridiculously good deals on things <laughs> and I keep falling for it and then like so I'll, I'll get the thing that's only like two dollars marked down from maybe ten <laughs> but then I've still got to order ten dollars worth of stuff because they have a ten dollar minimum because of the free shipping <laughs> so then I have to add you know all the other stuff to get to the ten dollars <laughs> so and they've done this they've gotten me this way several times I still ha I think I have three small orders coming <laughs> Like two of them were two more $10 orders and then one of them was like a $20 order. But the $20 order was because you guys helped me earn $20 through my affiliate links. And I just turned around and, and respent that $20 on Temu. And then the $10 orders were like, came to a little under 10 because they also keep giving me credits. So then I'll have like a dollar credit on top of, you know, and that's like 10% off $10. <laughs> So that's that's how they keep getting me. So we're gonna start there. We're gonna start with my Temu package It's it's deceptively big. There's only four items in here. So this is deceptively big <laughs> And it's again, this was only like ten dollars total, but scissors. Let's get into this One of the items came with all of these uh, hair clips because it's a, a uh, mold for making resin hair clips and it broke open and I have all these loose hair clips floating around <laughs> oh no there's a big hole in the bag but so I guess we'll start here <laughs> this is a little set of three hair clip molds three different styles and there's three of the molds so it's three molds three different the same three different styles per mold and what I was thinking with hair clips show you better there and then of course they include like the type of hair clip for each one like this one would be for that square one and then the circular one would be for this one I'm doing it backwards but you know you get the idea and then there's just a straight bar in here somewhere Oh, I don't know where it is, but yeah, oh, there it is. And then there's just a straight bar that goes on that one. But yeah, so they gave you 20 of each style of hair clip to attach to, you know, your resin hair clips when you make them. And I was planning on, you know, doing these and then gluing those skulls. You know, I just made a ton of those uh, skulls from the Temu mold I got last time. <laughs> I love those skulls. They're so cool. They're little and they have flat backs. So they're perfect for gluing onto things like this. So that's what I was going to do. I was going to make some skull hair clips and maybe I'll, I'll do a video of that because why not? <laughs> Sounds like fun. <laughs> but yeah, they just put all of that just loosely into one large, very thin cellophane bag that obviously very easily ripped open there. <laughs> I think I dug all those out. I'll probably find a few more at the bottom here. <laughs> Okay, so let's move on to the next item. <laughs> this is just a little set of three adorable cat pins, like you know, little enamel pins. If I can get into it, I'll show you. They're like little planchettes. All three of them, I believe. Yeah, all three of them are little planchettes. I love that one, it's so cute. And then the last one is the cat skull. Super cute. So those are the, the three pins. I don't remember how much any of this is. Of course, I'll put screenshots up. The screenshot doesn't necessarily reflect what I actually paid because their prices fluctuate all the time. <laughs> and then the other little jewelry crafty item I got was a bag of the little death head moth charms, which I just think are absolutely adorable. And uh, I might even glue some of these to some of my resin pieces because I've been mixing that up too, not just gluing resin to resin, but also gluing metal charms to resin. And then the final item <laughs> in my Temu haul, and why my package was so big, and also how they got me, because this was the item that was, it was like, I think they had it marked down for me to like $2.50. Now, I, there was a bunch of colors of this, and the initial color was still like $8 
for the set. But I went through all the colors and one of them was only two dollars <laughs> and, and some change. So I got that one and it was the gray, so it's a good color. <laughs> it's the little carpet squares that hook together like a like puzzle pieces. <laughs> and uh, it's a, a 10 pack. So I got a, if I can figure out how to get into the bag, I got a 10, 10 of these for only two dollars. <laughs> Normally, uh, they're like $12 for the 10, uh, but like I said, that I got that deal <laughs> and I went for it. Um, oh, it is like, they didn't punch this part out of it. <laughs> but I guess uh, you can also keep it if you want a smooth edge. That makes sense. So that's probably intentional. So like if you want one side, if you just want to build like, you're not doing wall to wall and you just want to build a carpet, you can make one side have a smooth edge by using these and I think they have one of these attached yep yeah so they have one of these attached to every single side so there's a whole s you know they can <laughs> you can you know mix and match but these I got because they're fuzzy they're they're like carpeted and, and they're thin they're only like maybe maybe a quarter inch of foam but still pretty decent and eventually I'll get another color and I was going to do like you know they'll mix the colors and uh get like a two-tone rug and checks going on. So I'm probably gonna do that eventually. But I mean, I just got these because I couldn't resist the deal, a 10 pack for $2. But you see, they just they just hook together like that. And then you build your carpet. And I'm going to be having a, uh, a new workspace in a few months. Uh, we're working on that now. Uh, as you guys know, I'll be moving uh, around September-ish, end of August. I'm not sure exactly when all that's gonna, but it depends on my, when my new space gets, uh, my handyman is working on it now. And when that gets finished, then I'll be able to start actually moving. But but it's uh, that it's a, my new workspace doesn't have like finished floors. It's, it's just going to be a concrete slab that's been uh, resined over. And then I'm going to add carpets to different areas of it. But of course you'll get a tour of all that because that'll be my new, studio eventually when I get there but yeah this is this is why my package was so big <laughs> and also so cheap <laughs> so I was really excited about those oh look another little hair clip just floating around so that's it for Temu so next up I do have uh, my Goodwill haul and I'm actually starting with something that wasn't part of my Goodwill haul uh, it's from Goodwill. I found these about a week ago. They were the only thing I found, so I didn't do a haul. I just immediately started wearing them. <laughs> They're a pair of Hot Topic denim shorts, high-waisted with little moons all over. And they are too big for me because they, they are a size 17. Uh, and <laughs> so the, the, the funny thing is, though, the waist is too big for me. The waist is huge, like probably five inch gap on the waist. But the hips kind of fit me. <laughs> the hips are kind of perfect. But I've been wearing these quite often since I got them last week. I just didn't, you know, I didn't have enough to do a haul video, so I, I didn't mention them. But then I got this haul video. I was like, well, might as well show you the shorts I also got last week. But this week I found a few, uh, you know how they do that one, one uh, color is half price for the week. And I found three items in the half price sale that I'm going to be attempting to sell on my Poshmark because when they're half price, I feel like I'll at the very least break even if there's not a lot of interest <laughs> because I'm, I'm still not great at picking out things that are going to, to necessarily sell because I just buy things that I, I like. <laughs> like for example, this skirt, uh, this skirt is by ASHRO. I have no, no idea what that is, never heard of it. Uh, this is a size 14, uh, which should fit me. And I will try on the few that do fit me here at the end of the video. But I just thought this was so cool. It's like a black and white houndstooth with red uh, panels inserted. So yeah, I just thought that was super cute and fun. Uh, it's probably, I'll probably be very lucky if I even break even on this. But, but I just thought it was super cute. So I thought I'd give it a try. <laughs> now, this was a find at half off way too small for me or you know it might have ended up in my closet but it's an extra small but it's from mod cloth and it still has the tags attached and i know mod cloth is not an inexpensive brand so i, I found this uh 
It's their press flower blouse is what, what the name of this is. And it, it's, it's tiny, it's an extra small, but it's new with tags. So I figure I can probably make a couple of dollars off of that. I'll start the listing at like 20, go from there. But yeah, <laughs> so that's the thing with like buying to resell, which is something I really shouldn't be doing because I have so much of my own stuff. I need to be selling first before I start thinking about this, but it's just that I have an obsessive addiction, I guess, to buying things. So this helps me work out my addiction to buying things and then possibly being able to make a profit off of it. Or if I, even if I just break even, at least I've scratched that itch. I know that's silly, but that's where I'm at. <laughs> this skirt was also half price. This is by Cat and Jack, and it claims to be an extra large 1416, but it's a Vietnamese extra large 1416. And I don't, like, I'm a 12. I, I'm not confident. <laughs> How it'll actually fit me I don't know I will try it on or attempt to try it on here in a minute but it's super cute it's like a little ruffled sparkly skirt I just thought that was super cute <laughs> the final item uh, for this Goodwill haul size 13 which probably won't fit me I mean I am technically a 12 which a 13 should be comparable-ish but I'm not real hopeful <laughs> but they're constellation pants <laughs> They are skinny jeans, which are not my favorite. I've always preferred like a, a wide leg, but if these do fit me, I'll probably keep them just because right now I, I think I only own one pair of jeans, or maybe two, but they're by Blackheart. Do you remember Blackheart? Division of uh, Hot Topic. They even had like their own little lingerie separate store, online store for a while. I don't know if they ever had any Blackheart, like actual physical stores but yeah <laughs> so I thought that was a great find these however were not half price I did pay full whatever their pant price I think it was close to ten dollars for their pants um so I did pay close to full price or I did pay full price for these um but if they fit me they're mine if they don't fit me they'll end up at my Poshmark so let's go try on the few items that do fit me I'll be right back starting with the moon shorts that I did purchase last week and I've been wearing ever since but as you can see like they're high-waisted so I don't need to wear a belt because they're just so high up they're not gonna slide down or anything but you can see like how big they are in my waist but like right through here through my hips they're they're kind of fine <laughs> I don't think they're too big at all so like when I wear a tunic shirt over with them it's like you can't necessarily tell how big they are on me but I'm definitely keeping them and wearing them super comfortable and, and stretchy and I don't even have to unbutton them just pull them down and bring them up because they're just that big on me <laughs> here's these shorts <laughs> they're really cute they were a great find and you know I, I paid full price for these too but like shorts I think were only like five or six dollars and yeah no awesome and let's uh move on Here's the black and white houndstooth skirt with the red inserts, which I think is really cute. It um, is very high-waisted. Um, there's a little bit of room there, but once again, fits through my hips just right, if not even a little tight. And these are the 14, so they're even, in theory, a size big for me. Sometimes I think my bottom half might be closer to the 14, where my top half is more of that 12. <laughs> but yeah, so that, that's cute and is going to end up on my Poshmark. So let's move on. Okay, so that's it actually for everything that fits me. The uh, black cart size 13 pants won't come up over my hips. <laughs> and and they are like even tight through the legs, but I mean, they are skinny jeans. I've never liked skinny jeans, but still doesn't matter because I can't even get them over my hips. <laughs> the skirt is like, you know, the size Size tag says extra large 1416. I'm wondering if that's a junior's or a child's because this is once again not even close to coming up over my hips. So if it's a 1416, it's not a US 1416. <laughs> but it's still super cute and I would say it's probably closer to a medium, maybe even a large, but definitely not an extra large, not even close. Will not come up over my hips. And, you know, obviously I already knew this wasn't going to fit me. I didn't even bother trying because it's an extra small. <laughs> and and even at my thinnest, <laughs> extra small stuff would have still pulled across my chest. <laughs> so, but still, you know, it's a really cute little shirt. Anyway, so that's everything. That's everything that I have for you. My Goodwill finds, my Temu stuff, more Temu stuff is coming. <laughs> 
they're all just small hauls I might have to wait until a couple of them show up and do them together I don't know yet but anyway <laughs> it'll depend like what else I have to film that week <laughs> and and how much how desperately I need content whether I do them separately or together <laughs> briefly considered doing these two separately like the Temu and the, the Goodwill separately I was like nah I'll just do one long video <laughs> But that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, of course you can give it a thumbs down and please tell me all about it in the comments below. And please subscribe to the channel. I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we're living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye!